Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector with another action, not action video, actually, prop review. Uh, the last prop review that I did was the Falcon and Winter Soldier uh, shield review. So here we have the Avengers Endgame Iron Spider Helmet review, and let's go over the packaging. So first we get a nice picture of the Iron Spider Helmet, which we'll uh, get out and I'll try it on and show you guys how it works and details on it. Marvel Legends, I meant Marvel Studios Avengers Endgame, Iron Spider. And it tells you what it has. So it has the uh, eyes glow red and blue. And then, um, yeah, that's the other languages there. Marvel Legends series logo there. Infinity Saga logo here. Here is the top part with the other look of the helmet here in the blue. And then here it is in red. Same thing. Infinity Saga there. Here's one side here with the red eyes. And here's the other with the blue eyes. Same description. Tells you what it does with the eyes. Avengers logo there. Here's the back side with more details on there. So blue and red eyes. And it shows you what it looks like in the inside. And that's what it looks like without without the lights on. And then here is the bottom with the DCPI. So besides that, let's crack it open. And here is the helmet out of the packaging here. So I, I, I'm going to tell you, I love the design on this a lot. I might wear this for my Halloween costume actually on Sunday. So yeah, let's go over to the uh, looks here first. So first, the paint. I love this paint. It's cherry red. It's really nice. It goes all the way throughout it. You get this like nice shiny metallic look throughout it. You get the lenses here. The one thing that I'm a little upset about for this is that I wish they were the expressive lenses but i like the fact that you can change the colors on them uh for the batteries you kind of just want to i already have batteries in it i'll show you how to get to them but you kind of just want to pull from up here and try to pop it out lift it up and then that's your battery pack there on the forehead and to put it back on just pop it right back in and then boom it's pretty seamless there you get some like holes there so you can breathe out of it and then like you get the hexagonal eyes there, but it's also covered with this nice clear plastic so you can see through it. And I like the black lenses here. This thing is pretty sick. And then for you to be able to put on, there's this back piece here that separates. Uh, so yeah, you can barely see that it does. I mean, it's, you kind of can when you're up close to it, but when you're, when you're wearing it, you won't be able to tell. But there is a piece here that separates. You get a little earpiece, by the way. And it uh, has elastic here. And also right here in the back part, right in the middle, actually. So I uh, hope you put it on. Um, so yeah, and then here is the inner part. So yeah, you get some cushions in the back of the head here, here, and then on the forehead. You get these black guard eye pieces here and the nose. And you get some nice tech detailing here. You get some web sculpting in there too still. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And then here's the button to turn on the eyes. So if I were to turn off my lights now, that's what it looks like right now with the blue lights. If I change it, changes to red. I think you change the dimness on it too. So if I go one, two, gets darker, and then three, that's turning it off. And if I turn it on again, it turns blue, it's dimmer, dimmer, and then red, dimmer, 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 and black. Uh, it turned off. So yeah, that's how it looks. I'm probably going to wear this for Halloween, actually. I'll show you what it looks like when I put it on. It's kind of hard to put, uh, for me to put it on because my head's so huge, but I'm going to try to put it on and I'll show you what it looks like. So here is me with it on. And if I turn it on here, just right there, boom. It's pretty hard for me to see out here because you kinda have to look through one eye. I'm right eye dominant, so I'm kinda looking through right here. Um, whereas if you like try to look in the middle, it looks like you have like two different prescriptions on and you just get off the balance and it's like, which one, which one am I gonna look out of? But um, I will say it's kinda hard to put on for an adult. Probably if you're younger, you can probably get this on pretty easily for me. 
it's kind of hard and you can see that there's still separation here so yeah but i think i don't know if i'll wear it for halloween because it's gonna be at night and yeah and then that's how hard it is to take it off but i still like it i really love the paint job on this thing and yeah so i highly recommend you get it just because of how cool it looks if you're younger you probably want to use it just to wear it uh, if you are older, I bet you anything, you could probably make it work. If you have an Iron Spider costume, I have a Far From Home one, so it probably won't work so well. Uh, I'll bring it with me just in case for Halloween, just to make it look cool. But, uh, I'm going to see how I look with it on first. But, yeah, I, this thing is sick. I love it. And, yeah, it's, I'm happy that they put that, uh, the cushioning in there. Otherwise, this thing would have been pretty uncomfortable for me to put on, but... It's kind of hard to see out of it, like I said, but still. But yeah, that's all I got. If you guys want to check out my link tree in the description, it has my Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. If you guys want to help support me on those, TikTok has started doing cosplays. So yeah, if you are, if you really like watching those, go ahead and check my TikTok out. But yeah, this thing's sick. Thanks for watching. <laughs>